Why hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu. welcome back to another video. And guys, we're going to be Dollarama Beezing today, and this is going to be the last vlog in Canada, which... Not to say I'm surprised, because she hasn't uploaded in a while, she might even be there, who knows. Um, but with that out of the way, I guess let's see what our last vlog in Canada is going to be looking like today, shall we? Hello, foodie beauties! <laughs> Whatever that was, that looked really good. I looked away for like two seconds, I swear, and she already showed like some sort of thing with grilled chicken. It looked really good. <laughs> Even though I don't know, you know, diabetes, not exactly sure how good that is for her, like again, but not a doctor. Hi guys. So, looking for a lip gloss. Shouldn't be too hard. I just had the best lunch. Do you remember? In Ottawa, I used to go to the kitchen. Well, this was like, like that, <laughs> that level. But the tofu is the best tofu I've ever tried in my entire life. It's like a, um, they call it a smoked tofu. So they probably put like, I don't know if they put like liquid smoke or smoke flavoring or smoked paprika. But let me tell you, I need to get a bottle of smoked paprika to bring back to Kuwait in case I don't have it because it was the best tofu. I'm gonna She's doing a lot of pinky gymnastics. Like, the only thing I'm seeing, she's talking about, like, smoked paprika or whatever, but the only thing I'm, like, Rage looking at, oops, sorry, the only thing I'm looking at here is, like, that rage pinky is just going up and down, left and right, and all around. It's, girl, you, like, what happened? Why are you mad? Like, you just went to have, like, this amazing meal, but, like, uh, your voice and your pinky is saying something else. And I also have her sped up to 1.5 because it's just a lot easier for me and you because we could be done sooner, so... I have a takeaway bag so i got the, the rest of my salad because it's quite a huge bowl and there's ri brown rice and lots of greens a lot of chewing involved and i just wanted to get on with my day i have so much to do uh, you know in the final day chewing. i love chewing to do ma'am ma'am oh okay so we're, we're taking leftovers because not because we're full or anything because it would be too much work to chew it and we have a lot to do t today that would imply that you thoroughly chew your food to begin with. I'm also kind of guilty about this, not even gonna lie, but... Okay, so we're... Uh, I'm just gonna press play because the logic there is not making any sort of sense, and I'm gonna be here a lot longer than I need to thinking about it. Yeah, so, um, because I anticipated being here for a little while, right? So, all right, now I got the rest of my salad, which had like a piece of tofu left, and then I got an extra side of tofu and an extra little dressing because I found I could use a bit more tahini dressing. So, um, tahini is sesame seed paste, so it's a very healthy fat. Uh, so I just got a little extra one, and I'm gonna have that for dinner later. And I think in, the, in between, I'm gonna get a kale, kale juice because I'm just feeling like eating like super green today. I don't know why. Because in your mind, for whatever reason, think that if you eat really, really healthy right now, you're not going to be needing two seeds. I'm not going to knock her for eating healthier. I mean, obviously, I feel like everyone should be eating healthy. And I don't know, trying, I definitely could take some pointers on that. But, girlie, I, I don't think, if you're going to be leaving here soon, I don't think eating, um, like, a green smoothie and having, like, brown rice and grilled chicken um, is going to make you lose enough weight to make you not need two seeds. But, I mean, hey. Who am I? I'm not a doctor. I'm just a unicorn in the box that has an opinion. People like it for some, whatever reason. You know what it is? Yesterday's lunch, the Indian food was so good. But that's the first time that Indian food has upset my stomach. And I think it's a bit heavy with the medication I'm on. Like I'm on, um, there's, I'm on a medication that has metformin in it. And it really, that restaurant lost their shrub. Attention, we have a fallen shrub. I get distracted easily. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just craving something like easy on my stomach and I'm not vegan but sometimes I love to eat vegan food um just basically you know especially if it's prepared in a very delicious way and I don't have to do anything okay, well, number one why is she so hyper number two why is she dirtying her eyes around number three that's me whenever I order like the vegan burrito I'm just like I'm guessing it's so healthy it's so delicious it's, it is really good though I will say <laughs> that made me hyper actually I'm just happy that I didn't binge eat last night or the night before make me happy because it's very hard for me not to do it very hard it's like pretty much like a restless night of just thinking do i get up and go eat do i get up and go and microwave a plate of cheese or no do i get up and go microwave a plate of cheese or no and the answer last night was no anyway <laughs> so hyper 
Viva la kale, viva la kale. I'm starting to like kale, but if it's, okay, I don't like kale and I don't like quinoa, if it's the only thing I eat. You know, I gotta have balance. Yeah, you gotta add some like veggies, onions, maybe some feta, maybe some. Like, why is she so hyper? Because like a little random like hyper spell, I'm not gonna be questioning, but like she's been extra hyper and she's not editing it out for some reason, girlie. Why are you so hyper? What happened? What went your way? Because that's usually what it is. Hmm. Some pumpkin seeds, maybe some chicken, you know, proteiny stuff, healthy protein. We have a huge health art to do, guys. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Starting slow, which is not binging at night, please. You know, inshallah. All right, I gotta go to the dollar store because we don't have a dinar store. Because <laughs> one dinar is almost five bucks Canadian, right? So um, we don't have a dinar store there. We have like stores that have like reasonably priced things, you know, for maybe like one KD, two KD kind of thing. So, but don't let the don't let it deceive you. Two KD means like almost ten bucks. So, <laughs> dollar store is dollar store. I, I want to hit a dollarama, and I want to get see what they have. Like, I mean, to be fair, their dollar is worth four, which is like their one is your four. So, like, wouldn't that technically be like the equivalent, right? And I I don't know too much about exchange rates or whatever, but like I'm pretty sure like that would be kind of the equivalent to technically if you really wanted to go there to a dollar store. Just some things that super cheap, you know, like maybe sponges. I like the sponges they have there to do the dishes. Maybe some like organizational bins. Um, they have a lot of them there. So I'm gonna see if they have the, the folded ones and if they can fit my, my luggage, I hope so. Yella, let's go. All the way around today, yay. Let's go for a drive, guys. Finally, like I, we've been waiting for this kind of content forever and now you're gonna be leaving. Like girl, you could have been doing this kind of content the entire time. People would have been happy. Just say I would have at least. I like doing these kind of stupid things, not really doing much of anything, but like going places and seeing things. It's, it's a fun time for me. I try to have the best time that I can. That's what matters. I try to have the best time that I can and um, then leave, so. And just so you don't think, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. I'm wearing my seatbelt properly, and I'm not gonna look at the camera. I'm gonna drive and let you guys observe the atmosphere with me. Atmosphere, whatever. All right, yalla. 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 Number one, I thought like driving videos were so stupid. I don't know why anyone watches them, but like here we are making said driving videos. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Oops. Are you gonna let me in? Twice. Okay. I'm nice, I let people cross. <laughs> I also have, I, like I said earlier, I have him sped up to 1.5, so to the way like he was just like, mm -mm -mm -mm, it's really funny. There's the mall we're passing. On the left used to be a Sears. Now it's who knows what. craving for kale smoothies went away was... well it sucks we did, like we went shopping but like only for i don't know like 60 seconds at most boo this isn't the content that everyone wants to see we want to go shopping come on kidding i did get a kale juice it's called hail to the kale from booster juice okay let's try it Ooh, i don't know what's in it kale there's no sugar it's just they juice it right in front of you kale green apple some kind of herb i saw him put in there mostly greens anyway kale juice Mm. All right, so I have all my Dollarama stuff. Um, I went to the Dollarama, as you saw in my previous clip, and I just got a few things. I'm not as like impressed as before because 
when I used to love Boeing, things were like still pretty cheap. Now it's like they wanted $5. It can go up to $5. They wanted $5 for like a small pack of Neutrogena cleansing wipes. Like, no, you're a dollar store. Um, well, number one, that's what they're worth. If you don't want to pay the five dollars for the cleansing wipes, like go use anything but like olive oil, my cellar water, like a cleanser. Like <laughs> Dollar Tree is always a dollar twenty-five. I have never been in the Dollar Tree here, and I just enjoy his toy. <sighs> I just I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, these are my last few days here in Canada, and uh, I'm very excited to get home. Okay, well, um, you also said before you left that this was home and now that um, your man was caught talking with another woman now, Kuwait's home. Okay. Some lingerie also at Pennington's. Speaking of Pennington's, the only downfall to this whole thing, uh, leaving early, is that um, I ordered a ton, a ton of after holiday special stuff. I ordered tons of things from Pennington's because right now they have a sale up to 60% off. I ordered a ton of things from Pennington's. I ordered a ton of things from Clinique. Um, I... But then, like, why not say until everything arrives and then go home? Like, what's the rush? Why are you having to run back home all of a sudden? I feel like we all know why she's running back all of a sudden, but, like, you just stay there. There's no reason for you to be running towards Kuwait again. Like, I can't think of anything so urgent that you need to go back home, quote, quote. He ordered... And also, like, can't someone from Cornwall, like, ship it to Kuwait? It's like, is that not, like, an option or something? I have no idea. Tons of things from Amazon. I was able to cancel most of the Amazon because it hadn't shipped yet. And I think I canceled the Clinique, but it might be on its way. So the lady, the customer service said, you know, if it comes, just refuse it, send it back. And also the Pennington things, well, I'll have to get someone to return them for me, I guess, because I think shipping to Kuwait will just be too complicated and maybe too expensive, not worth it. So, but I did get enough, you know, some clothes and things like that. Um, so yeah, I didn't really think of that when I had Salab with me the flight home. Um, so... I was like, oh no, everything I everything I ordered, because he's like, did you get all your deliveries? No, I didn't. Hey, then just wait. I don't see why she's running back so soon. Like, it, it makes no sense. Um, But I'll send them back, I guess. It sucks, because I really wanted some of those things, you know. The Clinique, you buy a certain amount of money, you spend a certain amount of money, and you get a free gift bag full, like, with five free samples. So, and their samples are pretty big. Like, my favorite perfume, my signature scent always used to be Clinique Happy. And they have a new happy. It's like cookies and something. It's like a sweet. I wanted to try it so bad. I'll, I'll see if they have a clean. I don't know if they have one there in Kuwait. But they have a lot of luxury stores. So we'll see. Anyway. Um, so yeah. I, you know, he booked the ticket for me because like I didn't have a return ticket when I came here because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I thought I was going to be staying for a little while. Um, and then eventually I changed my mind. Staying for a little while. Notice how she did not even mention for a tiny second about the weight loss surgery. We all knew, but like, if you're going to be lying, keep your lies consistent. Uh, you know, I was like, I'm going back anyway. Even before everything happened, I was going back. Um, so then, but now I want to go back sooner because I just can't. I just, like, when you go through something in your relationship, I just want to be there to, like, you know, reconcile. It's better to do everything in person, you know, and be there and just get back home and back into the group of things. So, um, so that's, that's it. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. So before I go, I think I'm We did not even see what she got. She got like, I don't know, some pet stuff. It's like she knows what to do, but she just does not execute on it. It's the weird, like, girl, just show us around uh, Dollarama. Like, show us what you got at the end. Like, it's not like rocket science. Just like watch any other person do a vlog about Dollarama or like Walmart or like Torrid, Amber Lynn style. Like, this is what it bought. This is what it looks like. Okay, next thing. But, and slash or people like go around the store and film. I mean, depends, I guess, if if the store allows filming or not, but what I don't know what she's not getting, but to say my hopes and dreams were shattered with this video would be an understatement. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some places that uh, I used to frequent. <laughs> I'll at least show you like one thing. <laughs> All right, yellow, let's go. Take you out there. All right, I'm getting out of the kale juice area. Oh, look at that. Look what we just happened to be right next to after we ate that, um, that chicken salad and that kale juice. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys see? I, th I think I see it too. I think I might see a Burger King. I don't know. It's just very odd. Area for BK. They used to go for parties in the ball pit at this BK as a kid. That's where all the parties were held. I think the window open a bit. I have memories here, but I don't think I could live here, you know? Visit? Absolutely. But. Okay, well.
there's other places to live in that province, I'm pretty sure. You know, it's, I don't know. Maybe I could. All right, let's go. This McDonald's, this is the McDonald's here I went to. Um, okay. I, this McDonald's I used to watch it with friends, basically, as a kid. Like, well, not like a young kid, but like growing up. You know, like preteen, teen kind of thing, early teen. And they had a sale one day. Is there a reason why that car is like in the middle of the road trying to turn? Ma'am slash sir slash other if applicable. Are you okay? For 58 cent burgers were 58 cents and cheeseburgers were 68 cents. So I went to the, the Circle K at the time it was Max Milk until someone drew their car into the window. And I don't, you guys think my stories are so wild. You think I make them up, but I don't. I could even go to the- well, I mean, to be fair, don't you steal them? And then also, like, I went to McDonald's, I want to say like a month or two ago. Just like, I was in town. I wanted to get something to eat because I hadn't eaten yet that day. Whatever. I wanted to get like an iced coffee and like a cheeseburger, you know, to go, whatever. So I went in and I like the kiosk because I don't like people. <laughs> and I go up there and their McDonald's prices are wild now. Like they're, um, like a single McChicken. Like, one singular, like, no meal, nothing. It's just, like, one sandwich alone is, like, $2.68 for a, a simple dollar McChicken. Not, like, the premium chicken sandwich or whatever they got going on there. No, no, no. Like, the, it used to be $1 chicken sandwich, just, like, $2.68. I have never sped walk my ass out of any store faster ever. <laughs> <laughs> just like, and the coffee I think was like two fifty something. I don't remember, but I don't know where McDonald's thinks that they can charge that much. But like your guys aren't known for like your gourmet food. I'll tell you that much. To to show you a lot of things. Okay, so that McDonald's I took a two liter of the Circle K, and uh, hey, I'm going, buddy. Of some kind of pop. I don't remember. Maybe Seven Up or something. And I carried it into the McDonald's. I don't know how I was allowed to do that at the time. Um, but I had my, I brought my skinny friend along too. And I had her order maybe eight or 10. I can't remember a huge amount of cheeseburgers. And she took them, she ordered them and took, and I, she didn't even eat one. She didn't want any because you know, I don't know. She's skinny. So no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, she didn't no, want. No, because only skinny people don't eat burgers or anything. No, no, no. It's um, fat people. Fat people eat the cheeseburger. Skinny people just eat salad and kale, I guess. So I said, okay, more for me. And but I put the tray in her, her in front of her, so it looked like she was eating all the cheeseburgers. Because nobody's gonna say anything about a skinny person eating all those cheeseburgers. Actually, if anything, they're gonna be impressed and be like, right on. But someone like me, no, they'll say, of course, you know. And now I wouldn't care, but then I did. So that's the story on that. Now I'm going to drive to my group home. Yeah, Chantal, I hate to break it to you, but, like, a lot of people um, don't care. And also, that's, like, some of the stupidest logic I've ever thought of because, like, Chantal, who's going to be eating the burgers? Like, if she's not eating a single burger and you are sitting there eating a tray of burgers, but yet the tray's in front of her, do people think that, like, oh, yeah, no, that makes total sense, the tray's in front of her, but, like, Chantal's the one eating them. I don't know where that logic makes any sort of sense, but okay, I guess. God. Remember I went to a group home when I was 16? <laughs> Very yeah, we, we all know. Interesting, eh? Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts. I hate those pills. I can't stand them. Oh, they hurt my stomach. Uh... Right. Oh no, like, go take some medicine or go to a doctor if it's that severe. So let's see. Is the group home on this side? Yes. I used to walk up this hill to go to high school every morning, listening to a perfect circle on my DVD, on my CD player. So let me just see. All right, there it is on the left. So let me just pull over and get a good look here. So yeah, this is it. My room it was on the other side, actually, but you could... This is where the girl, she was pregnant and she stole my hairspray and my MAC makeup. That's the girl here. She stole my DVDs. My, I mean, my uh, Tupac CDs. And that's the kitchen area. That's the living room. And this is the dining room. So, yep. I stayed there for, I don't know, maybe a year, not even. I can't remember, but good memories there. Well, yes and no. I was about to say, like, are you sure? Because the only time that you've ever told us about it, like, you were miserable. <laughs> At the time, they weren't so good, but now they are. And also, why are you showing it? This is such a weird video. I, I came here for Dollar Am. I did not come here for group home, like, um, tours. So I have this makeup bag here that my sister gave me. Thank you, sis. It really helped. 
I bought some extra cosmetics and things, so, <laughs> but not an extra bag. So she gave me this bag, Juicy Couture, really cute colors, and it fits everything, even my mouthwash. There's, it doesn't look- Okay, I hate to say it, but like, I love that bag. <laughs> like it, but there's a lot of room in here. You gotta get a makeup travel bag like this if you can. Okay, so that was the weirdest video I have ever seen of hers. Like, she went from happy, and then she took us into the store, and then whenever she came back, she was super low. But then, like, as soon as she went to, like, go start driving again, she was super happy again. And we went to, like, go see the group home, and at the beginning, we were eating a salad. I have no I guess this is, in her mind, this is her version of, like, a vlog. I don't know. That was weird, but uh, I guess we went out to go do something, I guess. Even though we I, we don't know what she got at the Dollarama. How dare. That's the whole reason why I wanted to come here, but, like, we don't know what she got. Boo. Okay. Well, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.